Globally, nickel is in short supply, and what the industry requires is mines at scale. Nickel has been one of the best performing commodities since 2020, up 94%, significantly outperforming the Bloomberg Commodity Index. Among all commodities, nickel is experiencing the most acute shortage, with inventory levels sitting 80% below the five-year average. Adding to the supply constraints, the Philippines recently announced it's looking to implement an export tax similar to that of Indonesia. These are the two largest producers in the world. So what does the industry need? Mark Selby from Canada Nickel explains it best in his recent interview with Crux Investor. It's 100% about scale and scalable. You know, what the battery guys and the car companies want are large quantities of nickel that can come online in the second half of this decade, preferably sooner, which is our Texmont acquisition, um, and then, then can be scaled up multiple times from there. Pre-Christmas, we've talked to you know, most of the European and North American car companies that we haven't already been engaged with. And those conversations within the first minute to two talk about, you know, we realize we need to provide capital. It's not simply about signing an offtake deal. You know, it's really about getting the money in place to be able to advance these projects because, you know, they, they need the nickel. Again, just, just one example, you know, one Korean company who, who was consuming 30,000 tons of nickel this year. You know, their, their midterm goal is in five years to be consuming 200,000 tons of nickel. And they don't want that to come from high carbon Chinese controlled sources in Indonesia, because again, the Inflation Reduction Act has made it very clear that, you know, they, they're trying to get China out of, of their supply chains. And so these kind of projects like we have that are, that are very large scale, you know, are exactly what they're looking for. Ken the Nickel's Crawford project contains an estimated 3.5 million tons of nickel and is potentially the fifth largest nickel sulfide project in the world, well positioned to meet the EV industry's large and growing appetite.